friends, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and, of course, the subscribe button right now. And also, go to the notification bell icon, click it, and select all. Try to put up a new banger, a new exclusive video. You will definitely be notified. So, Joe the Juggernaut Joyce returns and uh, you have to give it up with your dress though because it's not easy after losing twice in a row against a big puncher like Jan Jilei. and not just by losing but getting stopped twice by the same man is very demoralizing in a way however he got back on track against Karch Ali you know it was a, T a KO in the tenth round, and now he's going in far into a fire against Derek Del Boy Chizura. If you look at Chizura's resume, though, like 13 losses, four knockout, 34 wins, 23 KOs, Chizura is like the gate man of every division in a way, the gatekeeper. But he's not an easy fight at all. Chizura, one thing, the reason why. The UK still supports him. Chizora is bigger than Dylan White in the UK. And Dylan White uh, and Chizora has way more losses than White. And White was an elite, basically in, on elite level. Chizora is bigger than him. He has more bigger fans than him. And he's had more losses. And this is how you respect Chizora. Because he's fought everybody. Everyone out, outside. Um. Um. I think Joshua and Deontay Water because Joshua is his very close friend and stuff like that. Like a brother. Like a big brother Joshua in a way. So it's for Tassin Fury, Robert Elinius, Vitaly Klitschko, David A, Marley Scott, even B Marley Scott, Kevin Johnson, um Kubra Pulev, Dillian White, Robert. Filipovich, Ajit Kabayer, Carlos Takam, Senan Gashi, Arthur Speaker, David Price, Olesana Usik, Joseph Parker. My God. What a career. Man, Derek Del Boy Chizora. What a career. Give it up to him, bro. It's not really easy to look at it. Big ups to Jesse Radog. But though, Joe Joyce is coming off a win over Cash Ali. And but prior to that, he came off two back to back losses uh, to Jang Jilei with fighting wilderness. Chizara is not a warm up. I hope Joe Joyce is ready because, you know, when you get stopped twice in a row, although. Janjali is a much more bigger puncher than, than Shizura. But Shizura can crack. I just hope Juju's box very smart. Unless he feels Shizura's power can't hurt him. But I think he also thought the same of Janjali. But he did. So I think this is a dangerous fight. This is a dangerous fight. It's a big scrap, no doubt. I know people are going to count Chizora out easily, but I hope Joe Joyce doesn't. But this is a very dangerous fight right here. Very dangerous fight. Now let's grab around here. Emma Tom Tom to break down this fight. Uh, to give his take on it. Emma Tom Tom. Chizora yes, Joyce. Chizora Joyce. Our brother Joyce coming off. A great win against Kash Ali. Prior to that, again, uh, back to back losses to Zanj Lee. And he was br 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 badly beaten up, you know, in that Zanj Lee fight. He himself said there will be no third fight with Zanj Lee because that's a bad style for him. But I hope uh, they are not taking Chizora lightly, huh? Because he's still not a Joe. He's still not a Mog. Fury couldn't stop Chizora. And Fury stopped White, right? Absolutely. But Fury couldn't, a uh, uh, prime Fury couldn't stop Chizora. Fury has fought Chizora twice. No, three times. 
and in those three times couldn't stop him what does that tell you bro <laughs> anyway ladies and gentlemen come closer come closer you want to talk boxing you want to talk boxing um chisora is an old timer he has seen it all he's been in the game i think he's 40 years now he started his boxing career in 2007 and he's still very active he's not a guy that you take callously and roll out he fought prominent boxers in his he has prominent boxers in his career originally from zimbabwe is that me so he has prominent skilled boxer in his resume he fought Kupra Polex twice. He lost to Kupra Polex the first time through split decision. He had a comeback fight with Kupra Polex and won also through split decision. So, if you think that Rob Chisora is going to retire just like that, please, you got to take this guy it's very serious. Of course, he said he has three more fights to go. He's 40 years, he's no more younger. If there is something an athlete want to see in his lifetime is to retire honorably by beating your last opponent. You have three fights to go and you want to be victorious on those three fights so that you retire like a lion. Of course his nickname is War. During the press conference just a few days ago, he said I'm not coming there to play. He told from Warren You told me you would not promote me again. Why are you bringing me up here? He said, "Yeah, it's a new era. You know, when you started your career, you started your career with me. And you're going to end your career with me." That's what the response of Frank Warren yesterday during the press conference. And he said, "If you join things and come in there to play, I'm coming for a war because I have free more fights to go my last fight i would take it back to my bed place in, in zimbabwe that's where my last fight will be i don't know the, who the opponent will be yet but to joyce you're right in front of me now even when fran warren said this is going to be a deciding factor to where you go from here it's a fran warren specifically said no I'm done with my career. I have three more fights to go. You could say that to your joys, the jackana, but not me. I have seen it all. I fought the best of the best. War with Tyson Fury three good times. So, I mean, it's going to be a very very important fight. None of these guys want to go down easy like that. None of them. No, the last fight the last fight that the Chisoro had was with Gerald Washington and he won with unanimous decision in 2023. Then he fought and lost to Tyson Fury through TKO. You know what I mean? He fought Joseph Parker, although he lost to Joseph Parker twice. He fought Alexander Usyk. It was a very competitive fight when he had Usyk When he fought you say it was a very competitive fight a lot of people thought he won that fight he lost by referee through unanimous decision he fought david price he fought auto speaker speaker auto speaker was a guy that took john to wilder seven 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 rounds before he was he was finally knocked knocked, knocked down by deonte in round seven but he won all the rounds when he fought deonte wilder so auto speaker It's not like you rule over boxer. But he won through KO. He fought Dylan White, although lose to Dylan White. He fought Ajit Kabayel. Although he lost to Ajit Kabayel, he fought Dylan White twice. Unfortunately, he lost to Dylan White twice through all through uh, the first fight in 2016 it was through split decision. But the fight he had with him in 2018 was through He, he was knocked out. So, man, you want to go far? You got to pass through Jisoro. You got to pass through him. So it's like more or less a journeyman in the heavyweight division. So right now, 
Jekanan. That's a guy standing before you. He told you specifically a few days ago, I'm not here to play. Jekanan. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You want to let go your two skirmishes on your resume. Let it go. And when you're ready, you can challenge back Shilishank. But let Shilishank go for now. You have more important things to go. You are only, I think, I think, I think you're about, oh yeah, I think he's about 36 years or 37 years old. Do Jack should be 37 years old. Just 38. 38. 38. Oh, 38 years. You're on your way out. But you could still hang around and get and get and bro, get that bro, bro, I'm, I'm just surprised, man. Can you believe Joe Joyce is the first guy to knock Parker out? He knocked Parker out, yeah. Damn, man, it's crazy. Like Joe how Jones? do you knock you knock Parker out? Be colors like I'm big is there. I'm a big Dubois. You know, big Brian Jennings, big big Michael Valish, big Alessandra Ustinov. But most of them was easy. Well, Joe Angst, yeah, okay, that's it. And then Even lose, Christian Hammer. And lose to Jile Jang. Why? Twice. I'm still can't believe it, bro. And then Jile Jang got beat by, by Parker. Like I don't, that's why they say Styles may fight, bro. I think Jile Jang just as a southpaw that and is the F basically the I think he's outside Usik. I think John is the best southpaw outside Usik, right? Yeah. Zhang is, is, is the, very good. But, but it's the heavy. Basically, I think what the, the hardest punch, the hardest punch in the fight. I think it's the hardest punch in Sadpo. Zhang. He is. He is. He is. Because, bro, he, he, is. Talks, he touched Parker just once like that, and Parker went down. It wasn't a heavy punch, bro. I don't know how. Him. He is one of the hardest hit guy in Sadpo. You're right. You're right. He lost to Philip Hakava because for some reason. Um, I don't know why most of these heavyweight boxers tend to take more of the blow from their forehead. You know? They should learn from what happened to the American guy. What is the name? I've forgotten his name. That was retired, that got retired. I think I've not seen uh this american guy that usually take punches from his forehead he was seriously damaged by erin yeah he's about? a russian guy but he lives in america here i will go back to him ask langberg what do you mean no 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 he's not i'll go back to him i'll go back to him later on all right yeah, I'll go back to him. So my issue with 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 uh, Jackanot is Jackanot is an awkward fighter, which has worked for him over the years because he has destroyed so many guys. Look, he destroyed Joseph Parker. He destroyed, you know, Carlos Tecam, just like you said. He destroyed Christian Amman, just like you said, my brother. You know. He destroyed, he destroyed Dubois. Dubois. Wow. <laughs> I, listen, bro, can you believe it? His resume is stacked. But that yeah. giant loss is just... But this is this Tirol fight is a dangerous fight. I tell you right now, it is dangerous. He has two skirmishes in his resume. My issue with Jackanat to Joyce is he tends to absorb so many punishment on his face. He has a good gene. But to what extent can you go? Shili Shang has a good gene. But to what extent was he able to go when he went to war with Hagava? To what extent? Yeah, if you take five or six or ten body shot or head shot, you'll be okay. But when you take up to 50, you are human. You're bound to be broken. So, what am I saying? I'm asking the jackanot to, to, to do some hate movement. Bring some hate movement into your game. And, and you, you, have, you have a longer reach. 
Yes, you have a longer reach, about about 80, 80 inches reach, which is that long, over Chisora, the wall. So why don't you tend to keep him at bay? When he comes in, in those bulldozing star, huh? keep him at bay. That Mike Tyson star, that Geoffrey star, keep him at bay. Punch him and keep him at bay. And don't stay one together because one thing about, about Chisora, Chisora is not a guy that comes to play when he's fighting. He will come all out to get you out. He's not a guy that 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 you punch him one and he, he stays back. He's not a backward fighter. He's a front-footed fighter. He comes all the way out. Now, for you to fight him, don't stay one place. Don't be stationary. Don't be stationary. The juggernaut, don't be stationary, juggernaut. Move to the right, move to your left. Move around. You have a good footwork. Make good use of your footwork. Move around and get him tired. As you're moving around, let him chase you. As he's chasing you, you are spotting. You're picking your, your shirt. Pick your shirt well. And then defend your face. Walk away from, from the brawling style of, uh, of Geoffrey. Uh, walk, walk away from that Mike Tyson broiling method. Walk away from it. Go around, go left, and keep him at bay. Keep him at bay. Punch him. Use jab. Deter him with power jab. Of course, he has such a power jab. Jaganor has power jab, which is the power jab he used to destroy Dubois' socket. Use more of your power jab and let try in anything you want to do with Jisara the war. Make the war to respect your bullets. Let him respect your bullet. And then that's how to win it. Don't be stationary. If you could put this into practice, don't be stationary. Move around to the left, to the right. Destroy that brawling capability. Throw a jab. Throw more jabs. When you're throwing the jab, you're setting up your right hand. You're setting up your power shot. You're setting up your power shot. At some point, you're going to get your sword. You could get this fight easily down in round seven because i desire i know he's not going to back out from you he's going to come all the way all out for you don't let two fights get you off your hook you've come up very well i know you you can do it jackanot so my brother that's all advice i can give to jackanot this time bro thanks so much i'm looking at this fire right here I believe in Joe Joyce, but I will say this right now. He must not engage with Chisora. Yes, Joe Joyce can take punches, but we don't know how strong the uh, the chin is now because gently they say when you have two hard fights against a puncher that breaks your jaw or breaks your breaks your, your face in, you must now be careful and try to stay out of the way because Joe Joyce is good for boxing. I want him to become a world champion. I think he would become a world champion. But to do that, he must not engage unless he sees the power is not enough. I mean, he felt like Janjali power was enough because I was the two fight back yesterday, bro. Janjali hit Joe Joyce with the with barrage of punches i think in the first round or second round of their first fight the dress took them but that was the beginning of the end in a way because then janjali immediately joe dress wobbled he saw oh i can take this guy out then that was the first fight the second fight it was very easy for janjali because he knew he could order the dress now so Chizora is not the biggest puncher, but he's still an heavyweight and he's still a mean fighter. 
I think the Jewels have to box smart and break Sora down. But if uh, if he takes if he doesn't take backward step, Israel will be the one to be landing more first, and who land first will be in Poland. I'm, but I, I believe the Jewels beat Israel. But he has yeah. to be he has uh, to beat him beat him by breaking him down step by step, boxing, moving, and stuff like that. Not trade with Israel. Yeah, I think so. But what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I think he can Bro, do it. If he trades, Although, if he, if he trades with Chizora right now, I'm telling you right now, if he trades with Chizora, it's a big problem. Because why he, would the, he even? The chin, you, the chin has he not healed even, a lot. Why would you even want to trade with the guy that you have reached over? You have long reach over. Okay? Chisora is only 74 inches reach. You have 80 inches reach. You are taller fighter. Chisora is only six and a half, six and a half inches, six, six height. Yes, he's an half inches fighter. And you are you are taller, you are six six, six feet six inches. Chisoro is six feet one inches, one and a half inches. Now Jackanot is six feet six inches, about a hundred and ninety-eight centimeter height. With eighty inches reach bro compare 80 inches reach with 74 inches reach you have an excess of six inches bro compare six feet six inches high compare it with chisero six feet and 1.5 inches compare that out why would you want to trade he doesn't reach you that's why he will want to come inside take a step backward keep your jab going when you keep your jab going you can't trade with him he's a shadow fighter you're taller than him fight tall don't give him the opportunity to even set up anything but you gotta do that until you get him out. If you do that consistently, you're gonna get him out there in round seven or round ten. But when you punch and also wait for him to to jab you, that's where the error is. That's where the problem most of these boxers are. Take and grab every opportunity you have. I understand. Jack and I started boxing very late. He started in 2017. But you wouldn't believe this guy started boxing in 2017 and then. Had all these guys in his resume. He started pretty late. Age is not on your side. To Joyce, you are highest demand at this time. It's not for you to be a nice guy. Dump that niceness in the dustbin. Now you need to be brutal. You feel it's 738. You gotta be brutal and destroy anyway anybody that comes your way until you get that title start destroy the person if if getting refused refuse to be a journeyman to joyce you bigger than being a journeyman you are 16 fight you have 16 fight and you started your career in 2017 you have only two losses and these two losses come from only one man only one man so why would you not do everything to move to the next level by getting to Joyce, by getting the sorrow behind you. That's my advice to him. He got to go for destruction. Both of them are from United Kingdom. Both of them are going to fight it on to arena. That's not a joke. That's not a play. Go there and do the best you can. That's not your first time that you're going to be at. Is that the first time you're just going to be in Oto arena? Yeah. The right yeah, time that's, was in that, that's the first time. Oh, Arena oh, is both a, of them are in Oto Arena for the first time. 
No, no, no. Does that mean? She's asked for it not to win many times, bro. He's the he's the um, king of Torino, bro. I, I'm glad. I'm glad it would have been really unfair for this for Jusara if he were to retire without taking a snapshot of I mean, uh, you know, Uto Arena. He would have been it would not have been fair without stepping into Greenwich and fight. Is that me? Because it's known. He's a big name. He started boxing right from 20, 2007. He has fought repeatable names. And of course, I want the best man to win. Of course, Chisoro declares he's not coming there to play. He's not coming there to play. He won't have retired like a hero. You know, but would you let that happen? That's mm. all I can say. And Jisoro, he fought Vitaly Klitschko. Do you remember when he fought Vitaly Klitschko? Yeah, bro. Yeah, although Vitaly Klitschko stopped him. How? What was the keys Vitaly used to stop him? He used his height. He used his height. To Joyce, you're 6'6". Six, six. Use your height. You are the big doe in that field. Punished him. Punished him. Do you understand that when a taller fighter fights a shorter fighter, it always go on TKO. Either KO or TKO. Whatever you can do. If you utilize your hand very well, keep him at bay. That's the key to winning the fight. The key to winning the fight is to make sure you keep Chisora at bay. And the, the key for Chisora to win the fight is to make sure that you close the distance. Close the distance so that he doesn't have the space to jab you. And if you rejoice, when Chisora steps in to close the distance, you take a step backward and send out the jab. Don't take a step backward with your hands down. It's going to close and get on your ribs. It's going to, give, it's going to get on your body shut. Take a step down with a straight jab. Take a step down with a straight jab. And whenever you take a step down, you go on a straight jab. If you're using your left hand to go on the jab, get your right hand as a guard against overhook. Because to just Jesus is going to be throwing lots of overhook. Every time you take a step behind and he can't get you, He's going to go down and throw Opa Court, Opa Hook, Opa Hook. So you got to avoid Opa Hook at all you need to do. So those are the keys. Damn, man. My brother. This is you analyzing the... Bro, you broke down the fight so good to the point where I can't wait for this fight to be to, to come into fruition. I can't wait for it to happen. July 27th is a big day for boxing, bro. I'm so happy that we are getting more and more heavyweight. But I was wondering why isn't Juju on the Saudi card? But I guess it's building, they're building up, you know. So let's see what happens, guys. Stay for my super right here. God bless you off the channel. And like I said, no year right here. We give you guys nothing but extraordinary bangers. God bless you.